Rabbi Baroness Julia Neuberger, trustees of the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute, members of the Intellectual Journey Advisory Committee, friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is with great anticipation that I welcome you all to our evening's discussion on anti-Semitism today, developments and debate. Anti-Semitism is back. To name only a few recent incidents from Pittsburgh's attack last year to the recent attack on German synagogue in Halle, uh, from the repeating vandalization of graves in France to the scandal surrounding members of the Labour Party in Britain, to rabbi be beaten by teens in London only a few days ago. In the United States and in Europe, anti-Semitism, horrific as it may sound, is back in fashion. Even in Germany, even may not be the proper word here, one in four hold anti-Semitic beliefs. As Rabbi Baroness Julia Neuberger puts it, the ver this very light sleeper has awoken. We have gathered here today in Jerusalem to discuss anti-Semitism, what it is, what it is not, and why it matters. We have the honor to have with us Rabbi Bernas Julian Nürberger, whose book by this title has just come out. Before I introduce uh, the book, very briefly we'll, hear, we'll have a panel discussion, uh, I'd like to introduce our distinguished author and special guest for tonight. Baroness Neuberger is a member of the British House of Lords. She's also a full-time senior rabbi to the West London Synagogue. Most recently, she has become the chairperson of the University College London Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust, a group of world-class hospitals located in London. Most importantly, uh, and for which we are ever so grateful, uh, Julia Norberger is also the chair of, this, uh, of the board of this institute. Uh, Baroness Neuberger is a leading figure in the UK and in the Jewish world. She was Britain's second female rabbi. She is a prominent public voice in the UK on a variety of issues, uh, including ethics and public policy, especially focusing on questions of health, migration and asylum, and uh, of course, uh, Jewish affairs. Baroness Neuberger has published numerous books, more than I uh, could count, uh, I guess over 20, on important topics of public interest, including health, especially on end of life, uh, caring for dying patients of different faith, and dying well, a guide to enabling a better death, uh, on ethics, including a bestseller, The Moral State We're In, and on Jewish issues, including on being Jewish and the story of Judaism, and of course, today's, the book for today's discussion on anti-Semitism. Um, she has brought wonderful energies to this institute. She is committed, creative, tough when needed, and always supportive. Uh, and uh, let me say, just as an anecdote, that of all uh, the people here in Israel that I know, uh, of Anlier friends, the person with the best connections in Israel is uh, Julia Norberber. That is true. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, with her own words, I can say that she, uh, and, and this will, I won't continue to embarrass you and myself, uh, she is in many ways for us a force of uh, nature. She makes things happen. Okay. So, she brings this creativity and commitment to the book, and now let me say a few words about the book. Uh, which has come out in a very crucial moment in the UK and also uh, the international discussion of anti-Semitism. What can be learned from this book? We'll hear more about this tonight. But let me just give you a short preview. The title, I believe, is very revealing. From the point of view of this book, it is very important to understand what anti-Semitism is, but at times it is of equal importance to understand what anti-Semitism is not. It is easy to agree that not every critique of the state of Israel 
is anti-Semitic. But where does one draw the line? And that's part of what the book tries to do. The book argues and demonstrates in many ways, the way in which anti-Semitism is on the one hand an ancient problem, and on the other hand has new faces today. And it is the historicization of anti-Semitism, which I think is often so lacking from today's public discussion of anti-Semitism. A key argument of the book, which I believe is very important for the matter, is that anti-Semitism cannot be understood and should not be understood in isolation from other forms of racism primarily Islamophobia. Anti-Semitism is growing, no doubt, but we must recognize that in many places and in many ways there's more Islamophobia in Europe, for example, than anti-Semitism. And perhaps equally important that the two are not unrelated. Another aspect of the book, and this is not an attempt to summarize the book, but only to raise a few important points. Another aspect of the book is that it doesn't shy away from entering into very loaded questions, including voicing a clear opinion on uh, Corbyn's Labour Party and its failure to deal with anti-Semitism. In this spirit, but from a different angle, the book critically explores the new definition of IRA, which we will hear about later, even if it thinks that at this moment we do not have a better definition. Perhaps we should. The book is written uh, from the perspective of a concerned Jew living in London and addresses in detail the specifics of the, UK, of the UK case. Concerned, infuriated, determined, but also optimistic and passionate about her country and the British people and their ability to face and confront anti-Semitism. For all these reasons, the book deserves our close attention. And I invite all of you, there are copies of the book uh, outside, um, and you may want to have a look. One more word about the composition of this evening's discussion, um, a, a point that is important to emphasize. As we hear the speakers tonight, I'd like you to think about how anti-Semitism is experienced in a variety of places, uh, in the UK, but also in France, in Germany, and of course here in Israel, in the region. Uh, I think that the, the, the question of what is anti-Semitism, what it is not, is one question. The question of how these, this, this problem is answered in a variety of different places with a variety of different experiences, I believe, is key for tonight's discussion. I'd like to thank the people involved in making this evening happen. To Shalomit Laon, in charge of our public affairs, to our uh, new media team, um, and as always, to Shimon Alon, the CEO of the Institute. I'd like to uh, special thanks go to Professor Amos Goldberg from the Department of Jewish History and Contemporary Jewry and to the participants in the panel, uh, which will join us in a minute. Although Baroness Neuberger will be our last speaker, please join me now in welcoming her and thanking her for the book and for being here with us tonight. <laughs>